Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. I'm telling you, 
who I just saw him. He marked file like he was on a mission. These inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting... Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Ian Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The cap... What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. 
If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two.
with you at the dig site. Brian will never be the same again. Finally, some action! Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard on. Oh, 
god, they're still alive! What did the cats do to them? I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved! The age of humanity is ended! Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain! Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it! Nobody can stop it! Night is falling! The darkness of eternity! Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find what get here. The situation is bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Don't worry, we'll protect you. 
Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity has ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Williams, take, take us, us to the spaceport. spaceport. You, can't you can't stop, stop it. it. Nobody, Nobody can, can stop, stop it. it. Night, Night is falling. The darkness, the darkness of, eternity. of eternity. Hush, Hush Manuel. Go, go lie, lie down. down. You'll, You'll feel, feel better, better once the medication kicks in. This isn't, this isn't your, your mission, mission Saren. What, what are you, are you doing, doing here? here? The Council, Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting, expecting to find get here. here. The situation is bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Off in the distance. Shit! Look at the size of it! 